Hello there guys. So before we start today's video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been subscribing. 760 subscribers now. Um, man, I never thought I'd get this many. So thank you ever so much. Um, sorry that there's been such a long break between this episode and the last. Unfortunately, I've had other commitments come up and it's just, I've run out of time to put into the videos. But I will try and get them up faster. We just have to wait and see. See, you know, depends on the time I get. Some of these videos do take a lot of time to get ready. And I know they don't seem it for any 20 minute videos, but there is a lot of work that goes in for them. So, but I just want to say thank you for all your patience. Um, uh, we'll try and get videos out a bit faster in the new year. I also want to say um, Merry Christmas to everyone as well. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got round to doing like a Christmas episode on here, but hopefully next year. Um, if I get to invest more time into doing these videos, then we will focus on trying to get a bit more specials out. But um, I just want to say, you know, thank you. Um, I wish you guys a happy new year. And I will see you probably next year with the next episode after this one. But thank you again. I'll see you guys soon. Hello there guys, welcome back to another vlog, um, so as you can see I actually have a produce box now, after I saw you guys yesterday I went to the local garden centre and managed to get one, um, it was a right pain to get into the Passat, I will be honest, in fact it was a big struggle, I don't even know how I actually did it now to be honest, but yep got it here, got my cauliflowers in here as well. Two pound um, each. Um, I guess that's a reasonable price. I suppose we'll only find out if someone ends up buying them or not. But I've been thinking I need to get myself some more produce, I think. It'd be nice to get some more stuff to sell. Um, maybe some tomatoes or something. Um, but it's trying to work out where to grow them, really. Um, don't know whether to get a greenhouse set up here. I thought that actually might not be a bad idea. I have to get these trees removed though, but I don't think that would be too much of a job. Probably do that myself actually. Say so he's getting hold of a tree surgeon, not too tall. Yeah, might get myself a chainsaw actually and get that cut down to be honest. But yeah, today I'm meant to be expecting the Maxim to be delivered. Not the Maxim, the Luxem, sorry. At some point today, so just waiting for that. But. Um, yeah, hopefully it does cut tied up at some point. Oh, phone's ringing now. Who's this? Don't recognise this number. Hello? Hi there, it's um, Tony with your Travis Perkins order. I'm here to deliver. Oh, right, oh yeah, I completely forgot about you guys coming today. Um, where are you two at the minute then? Uh, we are currently up at the farm where you put your delivery delay. Uh, dress to so um, just wondering where you want it dropped off. I'll oh, just give me five minutes, I'll be up there 
Uh, just grab the keys and then I will be up there with you. Okay, no worries. I'll catch you shortly. Cheers. Yeah, whoops. Huh, completely forgot that they were coming today. Um, yeah, they should be there with some wood that I ordered to start doing the um, workbenches in the shed. So, right, let's get the keys in. And then we can go off up there and go meet him. Get him unloaded. It's going to be a busy day, I think. Right, let's get a move on. Save this guy waiting around. Yeah, completely forgot that he was coming today. Completely skipped my mind. Too busy waiting for the um, Luxon to turn up. But I've also been thinking about a few other things. Um, so with this field up here, I've been considering to get a couple of goats, if I'm honest. Try and help get the grass back down. I'm pretty sure that they should end up helping to remove the weeds as well. But if anyone watching who knows any more information about that, then that would be awesome. Because I don't know too much about goats, if I'm completely honest with you. But yet again... Oh, look at those deers. Yet again, gorgeous day on the farm. Can't beat it. Lovely weather. Right, so where is he then? He should be... Ah, okay, he's parked up here, is he? Yep, he stood there, waiting. Eager to get on load, I expect. Oh, it's a big old truck. I haven't ordered that much wood. Yep, he's there, waiting. Morning, mate. Just get this door unlocked. Right, what key was it again? Yep, this one. A deal. Right, right, let's get them unloaded. Okay, he's all unloaded. He's gone down there to turn around. Good luck to him, I don't know where you could turn around down there, but yep, all the best. But yeah, I'll quickly show you what I've had delivered. Go in here and show you. Okay, so we've actually got a bit of four by twos here. A few lengths of that. I can't remember any of it I actually ordered now, but we've got that and some clapboards. So the plan is I'm going to get some workbenches set up along this wall and probably do an L shape, bring it round. Because um, I think, you know, obviously you're going to need a lot of workspace up here, especially to turn this back into a workshop. But I've got a lot of stuff to get hold of. Got ramps to put in. Um, also, you've got to get a load of tools and everything like that. So. It'd be good to get some of this space filled in, though, if I'm honest, because it's just looked so empty. But, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. But I might make a start on that tomorrow if I get a bit of time. But we'll have to wait and see. See how things go. But let's go and have a little look out here. Right, so, um, yeah, um, out here, I don't know if any of you guys watching know, but what do you think is probably the best way to get these fields back in order. Obviously, you're going to have the goats down the bottom there. Um, the only reason I'm going to have them in that field is because I've got the water trough already set up and I don't really fancy trying to get one plumbed in up in this field, but I don't know whether we need to plough this up and then probably reseed it or whatnot, but it'd be good to have this as a grass field because obviously we can make hay with it then. So hay, you know, or silage, whatever. I fancy doing at the time, but yeah, if any of you guys know, then please leave a comment below. That'd be awesome. But also with the grass, um, the other fields, I honestly don't know where to start. What equipment do I need to buy first of all? Um, I really don't know. I'm scratching my head if I'm honest. But let's open this up anyway, because hopefully the um, Luxem should be here soon. I mean, time's getting on now, so I'm hoping they will be here at some point. But what do you think is the best thing? Do we mulch it down, first of all? Do we just go straight with a plough? Um, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know where to start with this. I mean, obviously, if it was just the weeds, I'll go in there and spray it and then sort it out. But because it's an old wither crop, it's trying to work out the best thing to use. But, yeah. 
have to have a think about that. Like I said, if anyone knows what I, I should be going for first, then leave a comment below. That would be really, really good. Sounds like he's on his way back, actually. I think he is, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. So, yeah, it turned out that I was the last drop. Um, that explains the big truck. I would have thought they would have used a smaller pickup to deliver my stuff, but I guess if he's been doing a lot of drops, then it makes sense to be bringing that out. Yep, cheers, bud. Very, very helpful. Quite good. They're based in Sirencester, so very local, which is good. But, oh, waiting for this, um, Luxem. I mean, I'm definitely sure they said they'll be del delivering it today. So, um, also, I've been having a think. I will be honest, I've been looking at Land Rovers. I mean, it must be something about being a farmer that you start to look at them. But I've been trying to think of getting one because of... Well, I need something with a bit more torque to be able to go and pick up equipment, really. Um, also, I need to get a trailer to go with it, but pretty sure that a Land Rover should do the job really, really, you know, really for what I need it for. Because I don't think my Passat is good enough. I don't think that's going to be able to pull a plow or something like that on a trailer. So, yeah, keeping an eye out on them, seeing what's about. But, oh, my phone's ringing. Finally. Does this mean? Yep, it's Paul. All right, ideal. All right, I'll quickly answer this, guys. Catch you shortly. Right, okay, guys. So, yeah, that was Paul on the phone. Um, so, yeah, he's said that one of the drivers is on his way with the Luxem now. So, just waiting for him to get here. He said he should be bringing it up to the farm. So, I think what we'll do, get this gate, so get this gate opened up here. And he's able to get in here then, isn't he? So, I hope he won't be too long. Nice to get the Luxem back here at the farm. But actually, while I am waiting, I'll just get this barn shut up here. Don't need it open anymore. Pretty much done in there for the day. Right, let's get that locked up then as well. There we go, ideal. Right, hopefully not long then. Can't hear him. Actually, we might be able to see him if we go over here. See him on his way. Where is he? Can't hear anything at the minute, if I'm honest. Can't hear nothing at all. Nope. Silence. Oh, maybe they haven't just... They Maybe they haven't left just quite yet. He might have just been letting me know that they're on their way. Saying that... I think I can hear him. Pretty sure that is the sound of a tractor. Definitely does sound like one. Don't want to get too far on the edge. Too much bramble in here. It's got to be him, isn't it? Surely. Yeah, there it is. Oh, ideal. Oh, I see he's got someone following him. Oh, yeah, I suppose it's so he can get back to the um, base, isn't it? Back to the dealer. Oh, smashing. Right. Let's go up here. Go and see him turn up. I'm so glad this is here now. It does mean progress can start happening on the farm. 
very, very happy that that's going to be the case. Yep, here it is. Our case, Luxem 120. Perfect. Oh, they've cleaned it for me as well. well that's good of them. There she is. Right, I'll go have a little chat to these guys, so I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay then, guys. So, yeah, those guys are off now. Um, I'm so glad we got this here now. This is awesome. Finally got our first tractor here at the farm. But now the question is, what machinery do we get for it? Um, now that is the question really, because I don't know where to start. So like I said earlier, if any of you guys do know where, you know, what to start with, then please put a comment below because I need to kind of know what I want to start looking for on the internet and seeing what I can find. But I'm glad he's here now. Glad it's on the farm and I'm so glad that they've actually given it a nice clean. It looks so much better. It looks brand new to be honest with you. You wouldn't believe it's done 3100 hours on it. But I'm oh, very, very happy. But I'm gonna leave you guys here for today's video. Um but like I said, anyone who knows got any information or whatnot about what to go for now, then please let me put it in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you guys. But anyway. Thank you for joining me again today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.